Okay, in this video, I hope to demonstrate how to edit some of the metadata information contained in an image file. We're going to be using a tool called Metadata++. Um, uh, this tool has some quirks, but it works. Um, if you don't know what I mean by a metadata, this is all the information about the file. Uh, the, depending upon what you've got it set up, the image can contain information like location data. It can contain the kind of camera used. It can use, contain date and time. Um, for our purposes, we're wanting to make sure that it contains a creator or author. We want to make sure it contains copyright information, and we want to make sure it contains the licensing information. And we're going to be editing the XMP data uh, metadata file bits. So if you uh, look here, this is my, I've highlighted my cardboard box image. And scroll down to the bottom, you can see that in the XMP CC, field, we have license. That's the Creative Commons license ascribed to this. XMP DC has creator and it also has rights. Uh, you can see that while I myself am the creator, while this, this picture was taken in the course of doing work, so it's uh, copyright SI International. There. What they will do with my box image, I don't know, but there it is. All right. Um, so I'm going to go up to my images that have yet to be processed. Do Okay. Okay. So this this uh, picture of the air conditioning unit in our office. If I scroll down, you can see that it does not have any information. What I can do is I can go into XMP, go to C, go to CC, and when the tag comes up. I can edit, I can copy paste the license information. Um, I can pull that off of the creative, I'm pull that off the Creative Commons website. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flash over to their website, to their page. Okay, I've gone to the creativecommons.org slash license page. And I can scroll down and I can see decide what is best for me. And we're gonna use this license for our demonstration. So I'm going to click on view license deed. And you can see up here is the URL. So I'm actually going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it into the, um, the, the appropriate metadata field in uh, metadata plus plus. License. Control V. Apply. Apply. And you can see that now I've got license. I also want to add um, creator and copyright holder. So I'm going to go to XMP D. These are alphabetized and then click on DC. And creator. That was me, Scott Dysart. Apply. And rights, this is copyright holder. I put the little over here. And 2023 SIL International. And my keyboard doesn't have the ability to type the C, the, the, the copyright keyboard, but I'll add that in a minute. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that I've got license, creator, rights holder. Now, what I can do to make this easier, you can go through one by one by one, or you can do the bulk edit. And I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the bulk edit. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to have, have my image selected. This is set the way I want it. I'm going to click on export. And I'm going to export XMP. I'm going to export it as CSV. And I'm gonna, and I'm going to tell it where I want it to go. Hit the apply button, and it's done. And now I'm gonna navigate over to where that file is kept. One second. Okay, I am now in my folder, and you can see that it, there's my exported CSV file, and it's got the name of the file that was the source. So if I double click on it. 
is that I'm going to tell it how I want to uh, LibreOffice Calc to open it and read it. And now you can see I have a CSV file. Uh, okay, so then I can close it. I'm going to rename this to something that I want to keep. Um, call it SIL International because that's the copyright information. I would have, and I would have multiple CSV files based upon who the copyright holder is. And I would do this because in my, in my, I'm working on a flex database, I might be getting images that are my own, like I took on a vacation of, a, of an interesting bird or an interesting tree, or that is my own image. Um, I didn't do work for hire, that is mine, I'm the copyright holder. But things I take for work, uh, those are copyright SIL International. So I want to have CSV files that match the, the appropriate situation. I just wanted to demonstrate that I found the, uh, the copyright symbol and I've added it to the XMP DC rights column. Click save, use CSV format. Okay, and now I'm going to demonstrate how to bulk edit XMP metadata information on files in a folder. I'm going to click on import click on XMP. I'm going to select the files in another folder because I'm not in the folder that I'm, I've chosen, or not in the folder that the files I want. It's important that you pick the proper folder, otherwise it will do exactly what to tell it. I'm at the OK button. Now I'm going to browse to find the CSV file. Change this to CSV. OK. And I should point out that I went in and added the, the copyright symbol in the proper spot. I hit apply. And now if I go to sale new international images, the navigation got in the way again. You can see if I scroll down, you can see the copyright information for my receipts image. And you see it's also made an original, so it's kept the original. It's made like a duplicate copy. An air conditioning unit. And I'll do the brooms. OK. And these are done. And then I would move these out of my new folder into my process folder. And then I can add them to my Flex database.